What's up, world? This is my McDonald's order. It's obviously not an official thing. I just wanted to throw my hat into the ring as well. Everyone's doing it these days. So, um, yeah. Also, I just wanted to really eat McDonald's today, and I wanted an excuse to do it. So, basically, today I'm going to be taking a deep dive, deeper than necessary dive, on what exactly I get and how I eat it. Because I, I do have a very specific way of eating it as well. Especially, I mean, yeah, it starts with the unbagging. So, whatever bag it comes in, I'll carefully take out all the contents. Like I said, this is a deeper than necessary dive, but uh, who knows? Maybe some people will be interested. Then, if there's any fries left in the bag, there's only one today. That's the first thing I'll eat. Any strays. I do this every time. Take this bag over here. Get rid of the drink bag. Put the straw. This is a weird. I think they changed the lid up on me. Throw away. I, I just throw away all the trash that I don't want right off the bat because I just don't want to deal with it later. I'll take uh, one of these. Let me just explain what I got real quick. I have two double cheeseburgers. I have. One of them's a, a large meal, so I got the large fries and the large Coke, no Pepsi, and I got the six-piece nugget. This also came with two satchels of ketchup and Cajun sauce. They, they only have three nug sauces over here, um, sweet and sour, chili sauce, and Cajun sauce. I like ch uh, Cajun the most out of those, but honestly, I, that's not what I would get. Like, I don't want to include this into my official Bandine meal, so I'm just going to get rid of all this stuff right now. I got my own condiments on the side and some napkins as well. Now, what you got to do uh, is you got to take one of these burgers here and unwrap it like that. So you get your own plate. I hate doing I hate doing any kind of dish, dishes, dish, dish washing, um, and you don't need it with McDonald's. You don't got to be fancy schmancy with it. So I'll take, if there's any cheese left, you know, I'll pick it that a little bit, but get rid of that. Same with the nuggets. Just pour those out like that. And same with the fries. Even. So I get everything I need. All my trash is basically taken care of, except for this. And uh, all the food is out right here in front of me. Then I'll take my sauces which uh, I got quite the plethora here, and I'll go on with those. Right on the uh, right on the wrapper like this. Ooh, that's crusty, crusty. And yeah, hitting it with the mustard too. Some of y'all might not like that. Mayo, this is crucial, and barbecue sauce. This is what I like with my nuggets, with my McNugs. which they don't have in Korea, which is one of the things that is honestly, it's one of the most disappointing things about Korea. They don't have barbecue sauce in McDonald's, which I heard they have it on the military bases, the McDonald's on the military, US military bases, but they don't have it at regular ones. Anyway, yeah, as you can see, everything's right. This is what I, I love to do. I, then I like to just look at it for a minute and, uh, and then going for a bite. Now, before I take that first bite, I should mention this cost me about 14 or 15, 14 50, maybe 14 dollars 50 cents, which is more expensive than it should cost. I pay the price over here, I pay the, tr the troll toll, but in, in America, I feel like this would be a lot cheaper. One of the reasons why I wouldn't usually get the large meal, I would go for medium in America, but I feel like the sizes are a little bit different. In Korea, they're a little bit smaller, I believe. Also, I wouldn't get the double cheeseburgers for I just go with the McDoubles, which are a little bit cheaper. And, uh, but they don't have the McDouble over here. So I don't know exactly how much this would be in America, but it would definitely be cheaper than here. But you gotta do what you gotta do. All right, time to get into this. Um, here is what appears to be a regular McDonald's double cheese, but it's actually a little bit different. The bun is slightly different over here, actually. I didn't know they could do that, but they can. I guess. So I'm gonna go in for a bite. Let's go in for a plain one. Excellent. Oh, pickle fell out. Excellent. Delicious. Very good. 
little bit dry though. That's when you go in for the mayo dip. I love it. All right. Now, what I like to do, this is, I don't know if I've ever met, talked about this before to anybody in my life, but it's a weird thing I, I do. I start eating the fries. But what I like to do is I like to go for these little nubs first and just clear those out. It's such a stupid video. Who cares about that? <laughs> how I eat McDonald's, but it's, I think it's actually almost funny how like ritualistic I can be about when I eat McDonald's and how other people are as well. But yeah, I'll get all the like, little, little bad ones, the little short ones, like this nub. Who needs that? I'll still eat them, but I don't want to be looking at them. And when I come down to, you know, the, the crunch time of the meal, I want just the, the good fries left. So that's what I'll do. And uh, sometimes you get a better batch than other times, but it is what it is. Now, this is something I do about half the time. Fries right on the burger. Uh, I forgot to mention, I don't get this meal 100% of the time, but I'll get this basically like 99% of the time, I'd say. <clears throat> um, except if I'm doing a video, I might switch it up, but when I'm just eating McDonald's for my own leisure, then it's probably gonna be something like this or very close. Mm, excellent. Man, that's tasty. Let me get going for another, or the first mustard dip. And that's how I do it. Um, I might be a little bit, a little bit uh, gobsmacked here because I'm filming here. I forgot to touch the nugs. Usually what I try to do my goal is when I'm taking the last bite, I want one nugget, one bite of nugget, like one bite of burger and one bite of fries. That's how I try to, I try to approach it in a very uh, even way. So by the time I finish this first burger, I want to have three nugs down. I was going for a nug. I haven't had a McDonald's chicken nugget, chicken McNugget with barbecue sauce in so long. So much better than the, the weak stuff they got here to each their own, I guess, but mm, I don't need more. Yeah, BBQ sauce, that's the way to go for sure. Sometimes, like, I'm, I'm so disappointed with the selection of sauces they have here. They're just out of spite. I'll just dip it in ketchup like that, which I do like. But barbecue sauce is by far, in my opinion, the tip of the top. How can they not barbecue sauce here? It's crazy. But yeah, so okay, I'm halfway done with my nugs. And one thing I might change is I might go for a 10 piece if, if I'm a little extra hungry. Hmm. Sometimes you get the, the triple dip. I like that. Mm. I haven't taken one sip of this Coke yet. That's pretty normal though. Personally, when I'm eating, I just wanna eat, as you probably can see on my other videos. And then once I'm done, then I like to chill and just sip on a, a cola, a soda, or whatever. Coke. McDonald's got to be Coke. I mean, what else could it be? Does anyone else like to do that? I'm sure there are people. I'm, like, everyone eats differently. Like I'm saying, like, some people might get the exact, same exact order, but 
eat like the fries first and then the nuggets and then the burgers, something like that. Like I've known that there are people like that. Definitely people who probably save their drinks for less. I'm kind of curious about the fry thing. Are there people who like just get the nubs out first? Because I've always been a, an advocate of that. Oh, no. Caught it. Sometimes I will microwave this, the second burger. Because if you never tried it, might be worth a try. It does give it more of like a, I think I've mentioned this before. To me, I feel like it gives more of a school, like a, a school cafeteria flavor. But it also kind of makes the cheese um, really, really nice and melty. It softens the whole thing up. And uh, it's just like a whole whole different thing. It does kind of like weaken the flavor a bit. But I think the texture can find an improvement. Here we go. Mm. Also, it's crucial. One thing I'm missing right now is like a YouTube video. So I like set everything up. Like I'll literally search for the perfect food video like while I order McDonald's. While I'm waiting for the delivery. Looking for something around for me. Anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes. Nothing shorter. If there's a video under 10 minutes, uh, I don't, I don't, I'll just watch it. I'm not going to save it for eating because then I'll have to take my greasy hands, hit and touch that mouse. Hate doing that. I feel like this video is making me look quite OCD. Quote unquote. It ain't really like that, but. I guess I can be a little bit particular about some some certain things. But yeah, I find a, a perfect video. Usually, I don't want it to be too... I want it to be pretty light because when I'm eating, you know, I like to, to look at my food. So I can't... It's not something that... <clears throat> I don't want to find a video that's like requires constant, you know, viewage. Food videos are my go-to a lot. Not mukbangs. I don't watch those. Cooking videos though. Stuff like that, but yeah, as you can see, I'm whittling this down. And I got, I'm in a pretty good position here. I got probably 15 fries left, one nug, and good amount of this burger. If anything, I want my last bite to be the burger. So I'm in a real, sitting at a real good position right now. Mm. Sauces. Looking pretty good as well. You never want to have to go back to the sauce mid-meal. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but um, just again, the greasy fingers. Also, you don't want to just put too much and have to throw away a bunch of sauce at the end. Both are, in my opinion, rookie moves, nothing wrong with them, but just the kind of a beginner move. I've, I've still not very good at it, to be honest. And sometimes, in a situation like this, I'll take a whole, a whole swipe. Just to get rid of this. So I don't like wasting food. Mm. Ah, 
right now, it always hits me about this time of the meal where I'm like, hmm, I could eat more. Maybe I should have got a little bit more. It always, like, it, the hardest part of eating a meal like this is, like, the 10 minutes after you get done eating, where you're waiting for your, your brain and your stomach to sync up again. And you're like, man, I could eat more. But then after 10 minutes, you do eventually get full. And those are some some long minutes. So yeah, we're, we're coming right down to the wire with it. I'll probably... Save two fries or so, because these are mini, mini guys. I'll probably go in for one last, this one last piece of nug. Get those fries. Just look at it again. Smell it. And then I'll probably go for a... Man, I should have gone for one more swipe, sauce swipe. But there it is. And then when you're done, just crumple it up, throw it back in that trash bag, throw this away. Uh, put the sauces away and then just sit on the couch and just drink this pop. Uh, that's satisfying. Well, after you get done eating all that salty food, and then mm, that coke be hitting. So yeah, that might have been the most pointlessly detailed video that I've ever done, maybe that you've ever seen. So yeah, guys, there is my Mickey D's meal. Again, the only thing I would say is if you're in America, Get the McDoubles instead of the double cheeses and uh, get make the, the meal a regular meal instead of a large one. And that's pretty much it. If McDonald's ever hit me up and said, hey, let's do a, a collab, which will never happen. But if they did, this is what it would be. So there you go. Try it for yourself and see how you feel. I'm feeling real good. Feeling much better than I was before. I'm like satisfied, but not full. I don't think I'll never get full, full, but I'll get like satisfied off of that meal. And I'll be just ready to go. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.